hello guys and welcome back to your favorite youtube channel saint media still on the end sas issue i did not deny protesting they will do counters people accusing him of lying to the ig of police i, I really don't i honestly don't want a closed meeting because now everybody's what is outside is that i came here for closed door meeting how can you come here for closed door meeting when you were uh... I do protest. I do not protest. No, the point I'm trying to make is that you identify, at least you identify with the protesters yesterday. So I have to because they're my fans. No, and that's what I'm know. saying. No, that's. And I was there. I was there actually to calm them no, down. No, 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 no. I was not there. Say, I'm no longer I'm going that protest. route. Nigerian music star David Adedeji Adeleke, better known as David Doe, has cleared the air about the video making waves on the internet, which had him say while in the police headquarters at Abuja that he didn't partake in the NSAS protest. The singer explained that people took his statement out of context because he was explaining to the police PRO, Mr. Frank Mba, the reason he came to Abuja from Lagos wasn't solely to protest, but to dialogue with the IG as they had already planned. David o wrote, Today, my team and I met with the IG of police at the headquarters in Abuja to discuss the NSAS protest and the way forward. I want to make it clear that I never went there to deny any protesting. My comment was taken out of context. I was trying to explain that I was not at the protest to cause trouble or fight as you can hear me say in the video, but rather I was there in solidarity with every Nigerian demanding the end to police brutality. I was also explaining to Mr. Frank Mba, the first PRO, that my intention on leaving Lagos for Abuja was not to lead a protest like many had thought. I had finally secured an invitation from the IG of police to come to Abuja for a stakeholders meeting scheduled on Monday morning. That was the reason for my trip. As for the talks doing rounds about me going to deny protesting and the lie due to intimidation or whatever, it's a shame that at this particular time, lies have to be spread by blogs that should be focused on fighting for the cause and a shame that I have to explain myself. But I have to. Mr. Mba has seen videos and pictures of myself on social media protesting in solidarity alongside my fellow Nigerians and asked what happened as he also knew that was not the plan. I then explained the reason I got involved with the protesters and led them down to the force headquarters so I could dialogue with the officers in charge who were accused of effecting arrest. I was there until all protesters were released and left shortly after. I'm not one to fear police or fear protest. I had someone record on IG Live was because, as usual, I'm trying to carry people along on every step. This movement belongs to each and every one of us, and no single person can claim to be the leader of this. The room we were in, where the video leaked, was Mr. Mbass. We waited there briefly for the IG to see us. The actual meeting with the IG do recorded has not been yet shared. That was where we discussed extensively the issue facing the youth and facing us as a nation. I have never claimed to be the voice of the people, nor can I claim to have been personally victimized by SARS. But as a young Nigeria, there is no way I could be silent on this matter and not to help to the best of my ability. As flawed as it may come across to some, the crime here would have been in action. I'm a Nigerian first, David Adelike second. I would like to thank the IG for agreeing to meet with us under short notice and hearing us out. The great Nigerian youth for being so inspiring and showing the world that things are changing. And in particular, I would like to thank the real voice of this movement, our women. They have been the backbone of the protest and we must protect them at all costs. Lastly, may we never forget those that have tragically lost their life to police brutality before and during this protest. Yours always, David Adeleke.